convention, but all by myself with no team members. After the convention, I saw a big picture and I decided to go all in. Because my leadership is far away from me and I start to travel to them. I, and I come to the United States 12, 13 times a year when I make very little money. I, I stretch my vision when I travel. And, uh, and then in August 2014, I make a decision to have double-digit facial recruit every single month. I made $13,000 in 2011 for the entire year. Five years later, my income is over half a million. It's all about making decisions and keeping the decisions. All right. Thank you, Laurie, if you can. And, and when you should do it, so. Can you share? Okay. Um, when I joined WFG, just as most of the people there, and as a part-timer, okay, the difference between part-timer and full-timer is that we don't have time, right? We, um, at that time, I'm full-time, I have a full-time job, and a seven years old talented boy, and also fully engaged in church. So when I joined WFG, I think I learned from Andy and Monty and all other uh, great leaders in WFG. I needed to rearrange my daily schedule. Okay. Um, we, we needed to set up a good plan for the spiritual life, family life, um, physical, and work in WFG. We had to put the WFG inside your daily schedule. Okay, three uh, colors activity. Red color, which is BPM and activities that in the meeting. And second color is yellow color, inviting prospecting, inviting make appointment and paperwork. And, and then the green color, that is one-on-one -on -one in the field. Okay, you have to rearrange your schedule. And that's what I did and we can do it. After that, you are able to switch from part-time to full-time. All right. How we are going to move out into the next level. And that's what each one of us need to do after this event. When we come home, we have to put in a plan so we can move out, out into the next level. And I've been observing uh, Sophia numbers, and uh, the last three months, she has really moved her team to a very, very incredible level, get a promotion, or to go to hit nearly a million dollars. So Sophia, as an ex-IBM, right? Ex-IBM. <laughs> IBM stands for excellent, right? Share with people, how did you move your team? I mean, you, you an engineer, scientist, designer, DFA thing, right? And she just moved her team, you know, to the next level, just like that. So, can you share with people? I think one of the strengths of our team is we are goal center and goal fiber. So, number one, we leverage the convention to set goals. My first convention, I came by my own. When I came back home, I did my 10, 10, 30 within the first month. And later on, half of my team come from that 10, 10, 30. And later years, our team always bring goals to convention before we came. And yesterday, our core leadership team just reconfirm our goal for the next half a year. And we want to fight together and break through five million super team by the year end. The second, we always fight for our leaders' goals and promotions. Because I know we need to leverage the big environment and we have to move on up together. Last October, last August, my leader had to fight for one million dollar cash flow and our team fight for the best contributor. And we work so hard until the last minute and we achieve it and as a whole team, we're so proud. And our team benefits the most because we set the momentum and break through our monthly record 
you know, and set the new tone for this year. And the third, as the EBC leading a team, I'm always observing who is my next potential leaders. So my priority to those who have a clear goal and a specific plans, and I'm going to devote my time working with them. So that we well aligned, we know each other heading to the right direction, and we move the whole team to the next level all together. Yeah, that's what we do. All right. Let's see. Thank you. Uh, so to close out, to close out this session, uh, I like each of you in 30 seconds give the the team here your best advice. Okay. Uh, start with Lauren. 